I'm getting tired of replacing batteries. I don't know if batteries just aren't what they used to be. That's what I think it is. My guess is it's the recycled materials that go into batteries. Every time they reuse those materials, they get a little bit lower quality than they were before. I'm sure you guys will let me know down below if that's not the case. But what I do know can make a battery last a lot longer if you don't let it get discharged from this trailer to my truck, to my tractors, to some of my ATVs. There's just the more stuff you have, the more batteries you have. Some of the stuff like uh, this diesel truck here has got two batteries in it. And the problem with a lot of this stuff is I don't use it every day. In fact, a lot of the stuff I don't even use every month. Some of the stuff like that gooseneck trailer, which has a battery in it, it gets used a few times a year and it will go several months between those uses. It has a fairly good sized battery in it because it has a hydraulic power unit. It has a tilt back mechanism and it just seems like a waste of money to have to replace that battery every year when you only use the trailer two, three times a year. We're gonna try to fix that. I'll put a solar battery tender on this trailer here. You can get this for about 30 bucks. Everything is wrapped in plastic. We have an accessory bag. We have the main solar panel unit itself. On the back side, there's a little control module. Inside the accessory bag, we have a, an extension cord, a connector with a couple uh, battery connectors, cigarette lighter adapter, another adapter for alligator clips that directly to the battery. A uh, way to mount it using some suction cups and a couple of carabine clips. Let's go ahead and test this to make sure it works before we install it. After hooking it to my multimeter, I'm getting a good 14 and a half volts. So for this install, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the alligator clips directly to the battery. This will make it nice and easy to disconnect it at any point if I wanna unhook it for whatever reason. We're gonna go ahead and hook the extension cable to the alligator clips. On the other side of this panel, we're going to drill a hole for the cable to pass through. Once the cable's passed through, we're gonna use a grommet to protect the cable so that it doesn't get worn along the edges of the sharp edges of the metal. We just push the grommet into place and then we can connect the other end of the extension cable into the panel's pigtail. To mount ours, we're gonna use some metal roofing screws. This way the panel will stay secure even when moving down the road with high winds. Now it does say not to flex the panel. However, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of flex in it because I wanna make sure it is really secure. That's it for this video. Please like and subscribe below if you'd like to see more content like this and I'll see you next time.